Okay, guys, so we got this yellow Ford uh, Focus here. Uh, the lady said that uh, she went to AutoZone. They said that she either needs an alternator or a battery because I guess it doesn't charge or something. I don't know. And they referred her up here to me. Uh, we do most of the work for uh, our local AutoZone here. They refer a lot of people to me. So what we'll do is we'll connect the scan tool up. We'll do a quick scan of the whole system, see what we got going on here. And then uh, we'll go after this uh, alternator. Let's let this connect and then I'll do a full system scan. We'll come back. You guys, I just did a full system scan, which is pretty quick because this only has a uh, Four modules, odometer is 170, 112. It's quite a bit of miles. Hmm. Pat's key trans. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Let me save all this. I'll print this out. Actually, wait. I didn't even ask me for. Uh, License plate, that's interesting. Okay, so let's go into our PCM. Get our battery voltage, 10.9, that's low. Let's see, live data. We probably won't be able to start this right now, it's probably dead. Probably have to pull my truck over. Let's see, we should have an alternator. I think these are I think these are duty cycle controlled. I forget what they call it though. It's either I don't think it's alternator. I think it's like a Is it desire charging? Something weird. I should probably print out a diagram. We well, let's make sure that this thing doesn't charge first. And then we'll go from there. Let's just stop clicking on stuff. Generator monitor, generator output, desired voltage, fault indicator. Look at that. There we go. We got everything. We got everything. Let's try starting this up. It's dead. And now our wipers turned on. So I'm going to go over my truck over and then we'll try to start this up. Okay, guys. Well, the alternator lives all the way back here under the exhaust. See the alternator case right there. So it's all the way down there. So that doesn't look like it's fun to get to. I was just doing a quick visual. Real quick, something Jim Warren had taught me. One of his classes, just do a quick like 30 second visual. But uh, yeah, I'm a little crusty. And it's a Walmart battery. No idea how old it is. Looks like it might be a couple of years old just by the visual look of it. So I'm gonna get my truck over here. We'll get this charged up a little bit and then we'll do some testing. Well, it's taking 11 amps. So that's a plus. So we'll just let this charge here. And then we'll come back. Everything should be off. Look at that. We're at 13.4 volts. Um, yeah, we'll just give this a couple minutes. And then we'll do some testing. Okay, guys. So it's been charging for about 10 minutes. Got some other stuff to do. So, let's see. If we can get anything to happen here. We're 14 volts. 14 volts is pretty high. What's our commanded duty cycle? Oh, they're desired. Um, do we not have voltage on here? Uh, do we have battery or ignition? Oh, look at that. We're at 14 volts, guys. Do we have a bad battery or a power tip draw? 
I think we have a draw, guys. Let me shut this car off. Here, a duty cycle. I think our battery's bad. Hey guys, so the battery's been out here for like an hour, charging at 2.1 amps. So you can see we're at 12.46 volts. I mean, sorry, 14.6. Wow. 14.6 volts. See, 2.1 amps. I couldn't put it any higher. Like, it wouldn't let me charge it even 10 amps earlier. So, we'll take our battery charger off. What we're going to do is we're just going to go old school and use a carbon pile tester. And we'll see what kind of current we can get and what our battery voltage does. So, let have this turned up. Okay, it wasn't turned up. Let's see. There we go. So, we'll... Uh, Turn this up and see if it starts smoking. Let's see. So you can see we're at 12 and a half or so, whatever, almost 13. We only got 200 amps. Look at that. That battery is shot. See that drop down? This battery is bad, guys. See how much current we should have been able to pull like what? 590 cold crank amps battery shot let's try this again watch this look how quick this drops look we're only got 100 amps coming out of it look at that that battery is shot we're down to five volts she needs a battery battery will probably fix this do it one more time look at that so let me get another battery and we'll go from there hey guys so we got a new battery in here got it clamped down i got the amp clamp uh, make sure this is closed. There we go. We're around the battery cable right there. We're zeroed. 60 amp scale. All right here, I'll move this for you guys. Make it a little bit better for you. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see we're at zero right now. You can see live is uh, zero right there in the center. So we're going to start the car up. We'll uh, turn our loads on then. We'll see where we're at. Oh. Let's see. Let's turn that off. Let's see. Press OK. Oh, my VCI ain't connected. Okay, we're not too worried about that. We'll let that just sit there. Let's see what our current is. Oh, look at that, guys. I think we have a bad alternator. See, let's turn our scaling down. See that? That looks like a bad diode. Let's turn our load up. Let's see, let's turn our put that on. We'll put the frost on. We'll put our headlights on. High beams. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a bad alternator, guys. Change our scaling. Let's go to voltage. Look at that, that's a bad alternator. So I believe uh, that's a hundred amps right there. See how it's dropping down? So this thing needs an alternator. Let me save this, and then uh, we'll come back to it. Okay, so here's no load. So you can see, we're spiking over 60 amps with no load. Okay guys, so we got our new alternator on here. Let's see the shininess down there. Kind of a pain to take out. Got our amp clamp around our alternator wire. See we're at zero amps. Car's off. Start the car up. And uh, we'll see if see what kind of charging current we got. Uh, looks like my looks like it's over my amp clamp right now. Guys, let's go to a one volt scale. There we go. Uh, I 
thought I was on 60 amp. Oh no, I'm on the wrong scale. That's why. Let's go back. Let's go to 60 amps. There we go. Look at that. That looks so much better. 15 amps is probably right. Let's look at our duty cycle. 55%. Uh, let's take this off and re-zero it, just in case. Yeah, so we're at zero right now. We are on our 60 amp scale. Let's connect this one back up. There we go, 15 amps. Let's uh, save this one. File, save all. No load. All in there. there we go. You can see how we don't have all those dropouts now. Let's see, let's put this back on. Let's look at our duty cycle. So it says 55%. Desired 14.2. Oh, whoops, how did I get EGR in there? Let's go up to EGR. Let's go to battery. We should have battery positive right there. Show selected. Look at that. Let's turn all our loads on now. Let's turn our lights on. We'll put high beams on. We'll turn our blower on. Defroster, AC. That should be everything right now. Actually, I guess this is our this is our percentage right now, the alternator. And look at that word, 76 amps. Change it back to volts. Let's go to a one volt scale. So it should be around, look at that. Look at that, looks so much better. See that, because uh, uh, 100, or uh, yeah, 100 millivolts is 10 amps. So 0 0.7 is uh, 70 amps. So we got 0.745. So let's save this. Let's just do a full load. So this alternator is rated at 110 amps, and we're easily doing 78 right here. And look at that. An 80% duty cycle, I guess. I don't think that one really changes too much right there. I thought the command was a duty cycle, but it looks like the generator monitor is the command. So there we go, guys. We, we nailed it. See, we're still at like, uh, it's under 14 volts. Desired 14.26, that didn't really change. So I hope you guys like it. See you later.